Hey coding owls, welcome back. This video, we are going to write our first pipeline where we'll uh, basically extract the data from a CSV, use PySpark to transform the data and load it back into another CSV or database, whatever we want. So ETL, uh, extraction transformation load, basically is a process where what we do is we load the data from a source, wh whatever source you have. For example, your data is incoming from a CSV file or you are trying to load the data from a database or any place and you want to perform some transformations on top of it and using the transformations, once the data is generated, we want to load it back. So we want to load it back into another database or we want to pass it into another stream or might be we just want to store it into a text file. So that is what we do in the ETL pipeline and the exact same thing we are going to perform here using our uh, SpiceWork. So the idea is I will be having a names.csv file which contains the name in first ID, first name, last name. I will use Spark in the Jupyter Notebook, PySpark, and I will combine the first name and the last name and store it back into another CSV. I can store it into a DB or even show it on console. But what I'm going to do is use it on a, uh, put it back into a CSV. So let's begin with this. If you look at my folder, I have created a new directory names to full names and I have got this random names.csv. So if you see, I have got first name, uh, last name, first name, last name. And my uh, my plan is that I will create a final file where it will be ID and the full name. So I go back to my uh, folder and here I want to create one uh, notebook. Let me call this notebook. Okay, let me call this particular notebook as names to full names dot pnyb and uh, as we have already started uh, anaconda so it will uh, create my application and i will say because we are using that we have to say import find spark if you know, want to know how to run these files uh, we have already I've done that you can see the video in the eye icon on the top or in the description box as well then i say find spark dot init and find spark dot find so this will let me know where my spark is right now so it is telling me where my spark is loaded and now let's use the spark is equal to spark session the object we want to have dot builder name uh, sorry dot builder which is the one which will create and then I'll say app name what is the going to be app name for here so I'll say name to full name and I will say dot get or create so once I complete this okay I made a mistake uh, spark session is not defined okay spark is equal to spark session oh my bad i forgot to make an import so i will just add a layer before this and i'll say from pyspark dot sql import spark session okay from pyspark dot sql lets me import my spark session and after i do that now this will be available okay see now here it is saying that my host name is not resolved because of i'm on a mac uh, that's fine but this is not an error it's just a warning now i'll do what i'll create my data frame i'll say let me load my data frame so for that i'll say spark dot read dot csv i want to load my csv file where is my csv file in the same location where i am right now so i'll say the name of my csv file is random names dot csv and comma i will say that my header is true and my infer schema is false i don't want to uh, them to because i have already given them the schema and everything then i say data frame dot show i let me see what exactly i have here so if you look at it i have got first name last name first name last name everything is here available then i want to do what i want this is my extract so i've extracted the data now let's do the transform for the transform i will say data frame is equal to data frame dot width column 
So I am saying that I want to load the data with column. What is that? The name of the column is full name column. And how do I apply it? And for applying that now, I will have to go and figure out there is a function. Yeah, there is a function what we call as concat ws. So let me just quickly load that function. I will show you concat underscore ws in PySpark. So if I want to go go and see the official documentation, so you'll see in PySpark SQL function, there is a function called as, uh, in this package, we have got a function called as concat ws. It concatenates multiple string together into a single column using the given separator. So let us try to do that. And so for doing that, I will have to import that again. So this time I'll say from PySpark.SQL.Functions import concat underscore ws okay and here i say concat underscore ws what are the two folders i want to uh, do that so first i'll say this is my blank then i'll say from the data frame i want to take first name and from the data frame i want to take last name so that will be my okay incorrect setup okay i have to go and close this as well and now if i execute this okay this is fine and now if i say df dot show it will be actually converting so first name last name and this so the transformation part is done now uh, i i also want to do one more thing is i only want id and the full name so i'll say data frame is equal to data frame dot and uh, I will say select for what I have got ID. And I have got a uh, full name. And now if I say data frame dot show after I do this, let's see what happens. It will be ID and the full name. And now the last part, let us load it back. So I will say data frame dot write. I want to write it back in what in CSV format. So it will be what let's say full underscore names dot CSV. And again, my header is equal to true so that it will add the header and mode is equal to I will say overwrite because if I want to just let it go, that will happen here. And if I go back execute. So this has happened. If I go back to my application here and refresh, see this full names.csv is added and this CSV file here contains ID, full name and last name. So this is a very simple first pipeline what we have created in ETL using PySpark. Obviously, we'll be going into more complex topic in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe if you want to become master at data engineering.